All right, and the energy that's coming in from November into December is the Nine of Cups reverse. So you're feeling unlucky, huh? You're just feeling like things are kind of, you know, not exactly where you want them to be. Like the Nine of Cups is like n not being able to rest on your laurels, not being able to see the, the potential or the gain of everything that you're doing. And so you're feeling a little, you're questioning the things that happened in November, like, hmm. You know, should I should have I done some things a little bit differently? Should I have maybe taken a different job? Should I, you know, um, should have I went on the state with somebody else? You know, things like that. It's just um, you're questioning where you are. And then we have the Queen of Wands reversed, the Chariot reversed, the Unconscious, Ten of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups, King of Swords reversed, Four of Swords reversed. Three of Wands reversed, King of Wands, and the Five of Wands reversed. Now, I know there's a lot of reversals, but all of the signs have been getting a lot of reversals. We've got Mercury retrograde right upon us. Um, actually, it just started. It's starting tomorrow. Um, well, it's starting in a couple days in December. All right. So it's okay. It's all right to have this many reversals, and some of them are actually more positive in the reverse than they are when they're upright. All right, but right here is where I want to start, is with the chariot reversed and the unconscious upright. Because it's like you can't move forward until you dig deep. And that is the sign. That is like the sign of the times, man. It's what everyone is going through. It's like, okay, you can no longer just kind of, you know, half, excuse my language, but half acid. You can't half acid anymore. You can't be like just Get, scooter along a little bit just on on tidbits you got to make some substance now and so it feels like for some Sagittarians that's what you've been doing is just barely getting by it's like being like a C minus <laughs> student you know which for some that's awesome but right now with your life you can no longer just barely you know get by it's by the skin of your teeth you actually have to put some effort in now and make it true. Make it have some substance. Make it thick. Okay? So, and this choice has to do with, like, every aspect of your life. Because also we have the swords, uh, the ten of swords reversed. And so with the ten of swords reversed, it's the end of a cycle. Of course, the ten of the swords is always about that. It's letting something go. But this should be a lot easier for you to let go. But the only way that it'll be easier is, once again, if you put some effort in. And as soon as you put effort in, then the swords are going to come sliding out of your back. But you have to make the effort. And the thing is, is like the Four of Swords in reverse is like, you can't sleep. You got to keep pushing through, Sagittarius. Like, you have a, a long journey ahead of you, and there is not time for you to, you know, take take a rest. You You've had a rest already. And now you have to get going. And, and especially because you have people just nipping at your heels. We have the Queen of Wands reversed. And then we also have the King of Swords reversed. And so this is a fire sign and an air sign. So Leo, Sagittarius, like you, Sagittarius, um, I said Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is the fire. And then with the air, we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And they're both in the reverse. And actually, for some of you, this Sagittarius, this Queen of Wands is you, okay? This Queen of Wands is you, and you're just not feeling up to the game. You're not feeling up to, to the steps you need to take to move forward. And so that's why the Chariot is here. It's like, I don't feel comfortable. Like, I don't feel right about going forward. I don't feel like this is the right journey for me. But the truth is, you have to. You have to keep going. And especially with the Eight of Cups showing up, it's like... Nope. It's, yeah, I know you're okay with where you are. I know you're okay with what's going on, but you, you also know that there's more. There's something more there. And so you have to leave it behind and push through. Now, I think this King of Swords is coming in to block that, block that push through and kind of keep you at bay from this Knight of Wands who's trying to bring you a message. So I do feel like this um, King of Swords is actually a family member. And then this um, Knight of Wands is not a family member. It's somebody who's coming in from like a third party. But this King of Swords is uh, 
just wants you like this and this is happening to so many signs just wants you to stay exactly where you are and not to rise any higher all right they're intimidated by you i don't get the sense they're jealous of you necessarily but i do get the sense that they don't want you to succeed all right and so they're you know and they're not even gonna fight with you about it they're gonna be so um nonchalant about it they're just gonna be like fine if that's what you want to do then that's what you want to do it's not what i would do you know and just plant a seed of doubt within you with just like one sentence and, and it's just going to be just enough to make you go oh should i should i move on and also in, in some regards i do feel like it is your partner it is your 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 husband your wife your boyfriend, girlfriend, who, you know, somebody close to you who's like, well, you know, that's going to affect me too, right? Why are you being so selfish? And and it's going to hit you and you're going to be like, ah, oh, all right, well, maybe I need to give more attention here instead of, you know, my work or something that I love. Yeah, because there's three of wands in reverse. It's like you, it's, it's hard to see where you're going. It's hard to see, um, the end the end the end goal but you even though you can't see the end goal you still have to keep moving forward the four of swords is like this is not the planning time this is the actual movement the actual doing of it and i love that the knight of wands is here because the knight of wands really does speak of a great message coming in that's going to ignite passion and fire within you but my worry is that you're not going to be able to hear it because a lot of you guys are not in the upright position. That you're not ready to receive this message that the Knight of Wands is coming to give to you. And so in some aspects, you're going to be fighting the wrong thing. You know, you're going to be fighting this message coming in that is so wonderful simply because you're, you're confused. Hmm. There's a lot here, Sagittarius. There's a lot here. But boiling it down, the bottom line is, <laughs> in order to shift this energy of the Ten of Swords, this ending, you are going to have to walk away. You're going to have to walk away, let go of something that seems just fine. And you're going to have to, and you're going to have to do it alone. You know, it's like, I... You have to walk away so that this king, this, I'm sorry, the knight of wands can find you. Because you're, you're stuck in this murk. Don't worry, Sag, you are not alone. Just go watch some of the, my other videos. Everyone has like this, this similar aspect of, dang, you gotta let go. You gotta let go. Okay. We're going into a new year. Saturn is going into Capricorn. It's time to get to work. If you haven't already, you know. Okay, so let's pull the Noah Nafu card, the visionary deck, just for some added guidance. Deep roots. So, this is a long one, so sit back. <clears throat> We often forget about the things we cannot see, like the roots that run deep underground to support a tree. This card reminds you to connect to roots and ancient energy. There are answers that lie within this connection. Every energy has a purpose. Although we cannot see it, we can feel it. Feel the energy to try and understand it. Underground, there exists a network of connections, roots connected to other roots and lines of communication, spreading information in ways we can scarce imagine while looking at the surface where nothing seems to be happening. The universe is working, forming connections and gaining nourishment, all to support us in our next stage of growth. We may not see it, but this hidden energy is just waiting for us to call upon it and use it to build the world back in line with laws of nature. All right, so that, that makes 110% sense. Because right here, we have the unconscious, okay? So uncovering your deep roots, your connection to soul, to self, to nature, uh, to your surroundings. And then we also have the Ten of Swords reversed. 
All right, so there's a lot of shifts that are going on that no one can see, that no one can understand. And especially in this time, it's, you know, here in the Northern Hemisphere, we have, we're, we're going through winter. So winter is not just death, death you know, it's, it's letting go, but it's also creating at the same time. And this creation that's going on during winter, no one can see because it's so deep rooted. It's so, so deep in the soil. But that's where it starts, and that's where spring starts. And so it has to start in that underworld. It has to start in the underbelly and grow through that and push through that. The challenge, the pain, the, uh, the discomfort of pushing through the dirt to come back to the sun. 